Guided um, snorkel this morning for an hour. Yeah, it was awesome. I've never ever snorkeled. I think I snorkeled once at Naruma, but um, yeah, this is cool. Not the Great Barrier Reef. It's incredible. Some of the fish and coral and everything down there is just so impressive. So, but it is incredible. The weather's not too bad. Like it's, it's overcast, but the sun's been coming out here and there. But I definitely can't complain. It is gorgeous. Let's get into it. Woo! Cool little spot, old Cairns is an uh, turning the weather on, but look, it could have been worse. Yesterday it poured, so today it's actually been not too bad, and sunlight's been out here and there, and yeah, we boarded a, a little boat to come over here this morning at 8.30. The veil was blowing up, stressing out, thinking we weren't going to make it. Anyway, I was obviously directing, so of course we were going to always make it to the boat. Got on the boat and I've never been on one before. I've been on a ferry in tough conditions and here it was like a hurricane come through. So we thought I was gonna spear. But no, big Terry Toughnut over here was the one sitting backwards. And about five minutes before we docked, chundy bag come out, spewed everywhere, eight wheat bix in the bag. Um, but I don't think she spewed because of the ocean. If she hears someone spew, which and there was a lot of people spewing on that on that boat. As soon as she smells it, she's just you know, and then I wasn't helping, I was standing on the other end, I'm like <laughs> and that was uh and laughing, but I did get a good video of it. But yeah, so we uh got on the island, we had a tour guide at what was it, ten o'clock? Yeah, safari tour. Safari tour, we jumped on a little boat, they drove us five minutes around uh what's it called? Shark Bay. Shark Bay really good name especially for someone that hates sharks for me did a little snorkel through there for now it's pretty cool really cool actually uh, it didn't rain <laughs> plenty of fish heaps of fish not allowed to catch them but um then we come back and went over to nudie beach and i swung on the swing the same thing i wanted to do the only reason i'm here is to swing on the swing and when it has something to eat and now my wetsuit won't come off because my belly's grown from eating and now we're just going to before we head back out that quarter to four we have to be at the dock we thought we'd come and have a last little snorkel here okay, look, look at the suit I'm all in it I can't breathe in it I dread to think trying to take it off I haven't taken it off since I put it on that was about three hours ago anyway and if you're wondering yes 
I have been pissing in this wetsuit because it's not mine and I do not care. I'm just getting a little bit worried if I need to do a poopy, but anyway, I've still been weighing in the wetsuit and I'm trying to get to the water now because I need to. So. I feel sorry for the next person that has this wetsuit on or the person before me probably pissed in it as well. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> thinking I'd been in Queensland for five days and I hadn't seen a crocodile but it's dead set. One. Holy shit. There's two. There's fuck it. There's four. Crocs. Crazy. I'll try and get up close. Just won't let it bite me. Have a look at them. Queensland crocs. Just in their natural habitat. Ooh. I don't want to get too close to it but it's pretty crazy. Just sitting right on the edge of the water, just waiting for food to wash up. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Crocs! Well, that is a wrap. A day out on Fitzroy Island, and um, was certainly not disappointed. Pulled well, the boat right over, she was raining a little bit, but uh, the weather ended up turning one on, and we got a fair bit of sunlight. But, really cool experience. We um, ended up going out for a little, a little look after a little bowl of chips and we uh, ended up on the turtle. Cool rather than got to swim with it for like five minutes. Got some good footage until he uh, snapped us off and went into the shallows. But um, no, that was a pretty cool experience. Um, wrapped with it, so what's your thoughts? Oh, day made. <laughs> that was so good. Cool. Even if you're spewed in a bag. Oh. Now, if anyone is thinking about coming to Fitzroy Island, Highly recommend it. It is awesome. I'd, I'd never even heard of it up until we got to Cairns and I caught up with a mate uh, that actually works up here in Cairns and he recommended it. He was like, you guys have to go over there and, and experience and I'll tell you what, it was not disappointing. Boat right over and just spent literally the whole day here. Um, and yeah, it was awesome. Scuba dive literally all day. The body is feeling it now. So, what did I do? What did I say? Scuba diving, sorry, I meant snorkeling. Same thing, you're in the water. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't get eaten by a crocodile, which was really, really good. Um, but yeah, we went snorkeling all day. So if anyone's got it on their list or anything, 100% recommend it. It wasn't too busy. I'm not sure what peak season is. It might be, I'm guessing a lot busier than it is today. But no, it was spot on. The water was incredible. We have a wet suit on, not my rash suit. I'm glad because the coral is sharp. So yeah, if you ever thinking about it, do it. Peace. <laughs>